Happy Saturday and happy Necroni Swimo Day from Olive and Two You Studios here at Needleworks in Winter Park, Florida. We are Olive and Two You Studios and we're here every single Saturday morning at 9.30 in the morning Eastern time. If you haven't already done so, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications so that you know and can find out everything that's going on at Olive and Two You Studios. Super happy to be here today. Look at the Yarny U's. You guys are showing up. Tulsa Trio's in the house. Ann Werner made it. She's all the way out in California. So it is 6.30 in the morning for Ann. I hope she's got her coffee. May is here. Kim is here. Sharon's here. Belinda, Pam, Jean, Lonnie, Lynn, Terry, um, Lori Ann from Canada, Susan, Laura Blair, Tara, Valera, Liz, Katrin, all the folks. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We have got exciting things to talk to you about today. And we have a special guest, but we have some things to talk about before our special guest. So Pam wants to know, what are the hours and days here at Needleworks? So we don't have regular hours right now, but what we do have is all you have to do is contact me, let me know when you want to come by, and I'll be here to meet you. So it's hours by appointment. And then we do have stitch nights on Tuesday nights on off weeks. And we have Thursday morning stitch mornings on off weeks. The way to find out those dates are simply go on to our website and search Needleworks. And it'll come up with all the information that you need. But Pam, just shoot me an email. We'll make a time to meet with you. Good morning, Judy. Hi, Judy. Hi, Joe Carroll. Good morning. Hi, Liz. Jamie's here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All the fun things. I've switched off. I decided to have yarn behind me, although it looks like over here. Wait, over which way? What? I'm confused. I can't. There we go. It looks like this is a little empty. This is a little empty, but there's a little more than that because I've got it in front of me to show you. There is plenty of yarn here in the shop, and we're going to get down to it and talk about it in just a couple minutes. First of all, happy Necroni Suimo. Super, super excited about it. I know some of you have already cast on your sweaters. Some of you have just wound your yarn. Some of you are just thinking about what you're going to do. And you know what? All of that is okay. I am wearing what I think was last year's Necroni Suimo for me. This is my Yoon sweater in charcoal and swan white. Um, and I love it so much. It's not exactly freezing cold here in Florida, but I've been really cold natured lately. And um, I wear my hot flashes when I need them, but I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> so I decided to put on the sweater this morning. And so far, I'm not too hot. It's all good. So I think this is what I did for my Necroni Suimo last year because I wanted it in time for Scotland. Um, and I did have it in time for Scotland, thanks to my ghost knitter, Serena. So um, that's what I'm wearing today. So there is a post already in the Yarny Use, the, the official Macrony Swimo post, and some of you are already posting your yarn and all of those sorts of things. So that is a good deal. We're going to get started. And the good news is you don't have to have a finished object at the end in order to be prize eligible. The only thing you do have to do is use a majority of Olive and 2U Studios yarn. It can be stash yarn. It can be whatever, you know, Olive and 2U stash yarn, and then you're prize eligible. So you want to post your progress picks as much as possible because every time you post, it's an entry for prizes. And speaking of prizes, we have three prizes to give away today. I'm going to make you wait a little bit for that, but we have three whole prizes to give away. And I'm looking at the goodies over here. So we'll get to that shortly. But first of all, I want to talk about the best yarn that you can't get yet. You can't get it. I'm really sorry. I have it, but you can't get it yet. The good news is you'll be able to get it soon. So I know many of you saw my post. This is Sea Glass dyed by Sherry and Terry from Lonesome Pine, the new dyers behind the Olive and 2U Studios brand. Look at that. I've got some caked up. So this is on Bronte and this is on Shelly. So I'm doing the same kind of thing here that I did in my Yoon. Um, and that's what the Wednesday sweater calls for pretty much. So that's what I'm doing. And I am in total love with this yarn. I think my husband thought there was something wrong with me when I opened up the package because I was like, ah, I was really happy. Sorry, I hope I didn't just squeal in your ears. But I want to show it to you on the hank as well. I didn't cake it all up. I haven't had time. I want you to see those nice, crisp speckles in that. 
Look how crisp and beautiful those speckles are. I love it. And they're just enough speckles to add really nice interest to the sweater. Now, the Bronte is not speckled, and I love that. So that's going to add that really nice overhue in addition to the main color. So I think the speckles are going to be super subtle. And I this is the color I've been dying for. Like, this is the color, not a play on words. I haven't dyed it. This is the color I've been dying for, and I am just I am just over the stinking moon about it. So, but you can't get your hands on it yet, but you will be able to get your hands on it soon. So, um, mark that down if you love it. Write the name of the yarn colorway down, so you'll be sure to know what to ask for. Or you can just remember it as Michelle's Necroni Suimo color for 2024. So, very excited about that. We're, I'm doing the Wednesday sweater for Necroni Suimo. That was the sweater that we kind of put out there. Several of you are doing it. You got your, you know, purchased your kits, that sort of thing. But you don't have to do the Wednesday sweater. You can do a sweater of your choice. And certainly you can crochet a sweater of your choice as well, if you prefer to do that. So that's perfectly fine. Just post in the thread and let us know what sweater you're doing and put a link to the pattern if it's not the Wednesday sweater, because we're all curious and want to know what you're up to. So anyway, that's my Necroni Swimo sweater. Necroni Swimo technically kicked off yesterday, but um, yeah, today's the first Saturday, which is why we've got one of our giveaways, the hashtag Olive and Two You Projects giveaway today. And then we've got two Socktober giveaways because Socktober ended on October 31st. So we've got those giveaways as well. Um, did y'all see the reel I put up on Instagram of Monica? It was adorable. If you haven't seen it yet, I really encourage you to go over and take a look at it. She made her Halloween costume. She was our stitch witch here at Needleworks working that day. And um, it was just adorable. Monica is truly a gem. I want to give a special shout out to new folks that are here. We have had like a mass migration of new Yarny U's coming into the group. They are the followers and friends of Lonesome Pine Yarn Works. And we want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so excited to have you in the Yarny U's. And I'm excited because I think you're going to absolutely love the eco space there. It is, it is supportive, it is kind, it is loving, it is drama free, and there's no politics. And we love it. And the thing that I like to tell people and the Yarny user here and they know it is that I don't even have to really moderate to make that happen. Like some groups you go into, moderators and admins are always having to like, you know, remove posts and do this and do that. It's very rare that I've had to do that because everybody just really respects the rules, which makes it a really peaceful place. So we're so happy to welcome our new Yarny U's wherever you're coming from. But we know, especially in the recent days and in the coming days, it's been mostly from the followers of Lonesome Pine Yarn Works. And all the followers have said and they've commented all over, oh, I love these ladies. I love their yarn. And so we're so excited about this new relationship that we're having with them. They are the exclusive dyers behind the Olive and To You Studios brand now and going forward. We got our new cuffs this week. They made it up to Virginia, so they're cuffing all the yarn now with the new cuff. And you'll notice just below the label, let me see if I can grab one. Uh, let's see, I don't have a great one right here because this one doesn't have a base name on it. But just below the logo, it'll say by Lonesome Pine Yarn Works, Olive and To You Studios by Lonesome Pine Yarn Works. So we're super, super happy to have them here. So all the yarn to get to today, I want to mention really quickly before we go forward, see these yarns? Are these gorgeous or what? These are the new Freya yarns, the new gradients from Freya Hand Paints. And I know many of you have already knit or crocheted with these in the past because you've been giving us all these amazing testimonials in the yarn I use under the posts that I'm making about these. If you've never before knit or crocheted with this, with these particular yarns, I really encourage you to grab a cake and go ahead and give it a go. You get these wonderful, um, you know, color changes through your projects. They're particularly nice for color work projects and sweaters or shawls because you get this lovely kind of gradient color change effect throughout it. And you don't have to do the work. You let the yarn all do the work for you, which is really, really awesome. So Pam says she's done several knits with them and she loves them. They're, they're wonderful. And I had too many colors 
to actually show them all to you today, but I'm going to show you some. Some of you, I know, love purple. So this is Vamp. How pretty is that? I'm learning the names. This is another Vamp. I showed this in a live in the Yarny Use the other day. They look different, but they're the same. They just start at different points. So don't freak out if you order Vamp and you order two cakes. If some, some of you are doing the two cake thing, which is really smart, and they look different. Don't be like, Michelle sent us the wrong thing. No, no, she didn't. Well, not usually. <laughs> but they might look different because they start in different places. Um, I've got a couple more to show you. This one is Valentine. Do you love the pinks? Um, this one is Cochineela which is really pretty. It's got kind of a dusty plum on the outside and a pink on the inside. And then um, this is another Valentine. So you can see again how it starts out a little differently than the other cake that I showed you. Anyway, lots of colors. Um, this is, I think, hard candy. Nope, this is Dirty Hippie. Dirty Hippie. And this is hard candy. Yeah, that's hard candy. Hard candy is like one of my favorites. I, I want to do something with that super, super quickly. Hi, Samantha. So yeah, that's hard candy. And this one is Woodsman. And one of our yarn use, I said this on the live the other day, but I loved it so much. I'm going to say it again. Woodsman, um, somebody said, I'm going to change it to Woods Woman. So I love that so much. Absolutely. So welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so glad you're here today. All right. We've got a lot more things to get to today. And I'm very excited about it. But I want to go ahead and dive into our special guest. Some of you may have actually guessed who our special guest was, but some of you guessed incorrectly who our special guest was. How many times can I say guest and guest? Can I say it right? One is with an ED, one is with a T. So I want to make sure and enunciate that for you. So our special guest today is Karen Burnett. She is designer extraordinaire for Intanda Magazine. She is also, she told me her title like three times and I totally forgot it. So that's my fault. Welcome to the podcast. You guys know I can't keep a thought in my head sometimes, um, but she'll tell you what her, I think it's chief operating director, maybe. Um, so she'll correct me if I'm wrong but she um, does a lot of designs. She actually lives five minutes outside of Glasgow, Scotland. And the last time I was with the Yarny Use in Scotland this past spring, I had a great time um, meeting her. Unfortunately, I was a little sick at the time. So I had a mask on and was trying to like not cough on her and stuff, but we made it, we both lived. So I was super happy about that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring her on and really quick, Paulette, yes, the Freya yarns are fingering weight yarns. All right. So let's welcome Karen to the stage. Um, I will tell everybody we're having a little bit of an issue with, with um, her mic. It's it's a little prickly on my end. So we apologize for um, the, the issues. I'm going to do a better job with guests, making sure they have the equipment they need going forward so that it's not so prickly. So you want to use, please, please, please. We beg your we beg your forgiveness. So here's Karen. Welcome. I actually, yeah. Oh, I am actually blaming the Scottish weather. <laughs> What's the weather like today in Scotland? It, it's what we call as brief, 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 wet rain. So, yeah. Okay. It interferes with different things. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, it happens. I mean, I kind of crave that kind of weather, but that's because I live in Florida. So did I mess up your title too terribly? Oh, Chief Operational Director for Intandem. Yeah. Okay, Chief Operational Director. I'll have to get it into my brain. So tell us a little bit about your design journey first. How long have you been designing and what got you into designing? I know you're really passionate about the reasons that got yeah, you into it. I I have been designing for 15 years um, and I started because over here in the UK um, we didn't have a lot of independent designers back then and our main yarn suppliers like Sardar Stylecraft had their own yarn patterns but they were very very limited on sizes and I am of the cuddly size. Yeah, I like that cuddly, cuddly size. size. Yeah, me, 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 me cuddly me size. Too. I'm cuddly size. Yeah, I'm cuddly size. So I have spent more time trying to adapt the cuddly size that I am. That somebody suggested, why don't you just 
make your own patterns. And I did. And I got in touch with a couple of designers that were very good friends. And I started the journey of designing and started submitting to magazines and accepted by magazines. And it just kicked me off. And then unfortunately, back in 2014, I was medically retired from work due to disabilities and illness and not wishing to just sit and dwindle. I went full time designing instead and it just kind of dwindled away from there and I just kept going. It just and that kept, was kept that going. was 14 years ago? Yeah. 14 years ago. So that you celebrated your 14th anniversary in August, is that right? I celebrated my 14th design anniversary in August, yeah. That is fabulous. And what do you predominantly design? I know you do a lot of socks. What else, what else do you design? I am doing a lot of socks and accessories at the moment. Um, I have done some cardigans, sweaters. Um, I've got next year there'll be some more garments. Um, back when I first done some sweaters and things, there were not a lot of plus size testers. Hmm. So I wasn't going to put out patterns that I didn't have things tested for. So at the moment, the patterns I do have, I only got to like a 60 inch because that's all that I could get testers to. But now that there is testers available for larger sizes, I'm going to redo the ones that I've already got to put the bigger sizes on. And the patterns that are coming out next year will all go up to at least a 72 inch. That's wonderful. I know in the industry as a whole, there has been a really big push to make sure that patterns are graded for those extended sizes. And I think it was kind of a little bit of a revolt, if I can say that, because um, people of cuddly sizes got kind of frustrated with the fact that you'd find a pattern that you really loved. And but it turned out, you know, you need you needed two more sizes up to make it work. And um, so there was a lot of controversy about that. And then um, designers like yourself and others sort of came forward and said, we're going to make sure that we meet the needs of that audience. And I think that is absolutely a wonderful, wonderful thing. Yeah. So you are, go, 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 go ahead, I'm sorry. You know, at the time when I started buying patterns, you were lucky to get a 36 to a 38 inch chest. That was where it stopped. Yeah, that wouldn't yeah, work for me. That's where it stopped. Yeah, that's literally where it stopped altogether. It just, that so, was it, you know. Yeah, we've got some Yarny U's in the comments who are saying they too are of cuddly size. So. Um, it is definitely very, very much appreciated. So you do some great sock patterns and you've got some socks to show us today. Is that right? Yes. Um, towards the end of this month, um, in tandem is bringing out what we call an interlude issue between our first four issues, which we had a collaboration with a group of fantastic designers. We brought out issues one to four. And then we have our spring issue coming out, which is a group of new designers that we're working with. Um, but we decided we would pop out an issue in between. And I made the mistake of saying, I have some sock patterns I hadn't released. Yeah, <laughs> I stuck my head above the parapet. Yeah, silly me, but yeah, I did. So I said, yeah, that's fine. So I said, but they'll all need to be re-knitted and obviously redone in bits and pieces. And some very kind yarn reviews did some sample knitting for me. Yes, they um, did. Because they did, and I was so grateful. And then I had some UK sample knitters to help me out. So I have some sneak peeks of a couple of sort of patterns. Obviously not the ones that the yarn reviews did, because they are with Beth already over there in the US. Um, right. We have a, a lovely mosaic sort of pattern, let me get my camera. Um, and so, you 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 told me something about this pattern. I think it was this pattern yesterday. You said that the way it's written, you can elect to put the mosaic all the way down the pattern, or you can just do yeah. towards the top. Is that right? Yeah. This is yeah. This is knitted in this way. This one is knitted all the way down, so you all the way down onto the foot. But I also have it. It's actually on the other side of the room. But it's just above the at the cuff. Yeah, that I love also, that. My cuddle whip. <laughs> It's the same pattern again, but in a cow. Beautiful. In a cow. And the, and the beauty of, of mosaic knitting, it's a great introduction 
to color work because you're only using it's one yarn color. at a time, yeah. right? Yeah. You're only using one color at a time. And it looks far better. And people think, oh my gosh, you're such a fantastic thing there. But you're not in a time. It's pretty simple. A lot of bang for your buck. Yeah. For sure. So, other um, cat, other ones so here. This is a lease one. We have never get this camera. Right? This has got a real lease on it. So it's got. Oh, Got to go the other way. The other way. Yeah, I'm just going to turn it on the sock a bit to try. It's a lace up the front. Um, oh, oh. Camera is it? Ah. So there it's you go. Right, right up the front of the sock. You know. Beautiful. So. Beautiful. So there's various, you know, there's various things. So we've got some socks coming out toward the end of the month and then turned on. So. Yeah, so that sock issue, we'll yeah. make sure that we have a, have it available here at Olive and 2U Studios because you use some Olive and 2U Studios yarn yeah. for some of those designs. And as she mentioned, um, some Yarny U's were really kind to do some test knitting. Now you're wearing a sweater. And I understand that this is going to be, you're going to do another one for your Nacroni Suimo. Is that right? Yes. Um, this one, I've got it on and I'm trying not to breathe because this is a sample <laughs> print. <laughs> this is um, my Glaswegian summer sweater. Now, I know you're all in beautiful Florida, but the thought of wearing a sweater in the summer <laughs> is not normal. But I do live in Scotland and wear a four-ply sweater. It's quite normal in the summer. And so this is a um, four ply, it's called, we call it our zebra yarn. Um, it's a yarn that is a base that's got colored twists in it before it's hand dyed. So this is a, a very, a very variegated yarn. And I designed this for my best friend, who's a yarn dyer, um, because she wanted a sweater for her highly variegated yarn. So this is going to be, I'm going to knit this, I got as far as um, casting on. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. You fit right in with the yarn I use. I mean, you're so, among your people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got as far as casting on. So I will be sitting tonight. We have um, Strictly Come Dancing here, which I think is the same as your Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have that tonight. So I will be sitting knitting tonight to our Strictly Come Dancing. Well, Absolutely. Yeah. That is yeah. so cool. So if you're looking for Karen's designs, you can find her on Ravelry and Payhip as Karen B Designs. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, I'll make sure that the link is in the show notes when the video is posted tomorrow on the YouTube channel. So you'll have the link to find her. She's got great, great patterns and she's in the Yarna U's. So um, she's commenting and, and doing that sort of thing. So she's been a little um, like under the radar a little bit, but I really wanted to, to draw her out. Many of you have kind of rubbed virtual shoulders with her, but maybe didn't know who exactly she was and what exactly she does. And maybe you didn't even know where exactly she lived. And um, yeah, she came down from Glasgow to Edinburgh to meet us there in, um, in Scotland. And I'll, I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm a little famous for that. So um, we're, we're just about to release the dates for the trip for the Yarny Use in Scotland, which will be September and October of this year. I'm waiting on like two more vendors to confirm something for me. And um, then I'll be getting the news out. But one of the things on the itinerary at the moment, it's still a contingency, is actually going to her friend Lisa's shop for the love of yarn in Glasgow to do a dye workshop and all sorts of fun things. So if you went with us this past spring to Scotland, we did a workshop at Ginger Twist in Edinburgh. This time we're going to be doing a workshop, cross fingers, you heard it here first, but I'm not making any promises until everything's confirmed at For the Love of Yarn in Glasgow, which has a totally different flavor to it. And it will be a lot of fun. We're still gonna check in with Ginger Twist. That's, a, that's the plan but we're gonna do a workshop in Glasgow. Again, crossing fingers that all goes to plan. And Karen, we were just talking before the show and Karen said, yeah, and I'm looking forward to meeting the Yarny Use. So we're gonna hopefully, if everything goes to plan, yeah. get to meet with Karen as well while we're over there. So super excited about that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Karen, I cannot say thank you enough for coming on 
the podcast with me today. Do you have any, we always say, do you have any parting shots? <laughs> Anything else yeah, you want to say? Okay, because I don't normally show my face online, full stop, so you have been very, very lucky. <laughs> Michelle twisted What's my arm because I normally do not show my face online at all. <laughs> Virtually. But you know what? That's a testament yeah. to our Yarny use because yes. um, they're very welcoming and so, yeah. so and non Michelle asked us in, yeah, because it is, a such, it is such a welcoming community and everybody is so friendly that I think <laughs> yeah, we're so grateful to you, Karen. Thanks again. I'll make sure all of your links are up in the show notes. And if you have any questions, you can tag her in the Yarny use or maybe ask her a question. Just be a little patient. She's very and, busy. And, and, I know I have answered somebody in the past that was asking about UK yarn. Anything to do with UK patterns or UK yarn, I am more than happy to help out because I know it's a totally, it's a totally different kettle of fish to the US. So anybody ask, ask away because it's, it is, we, do, we do do things differently over here, I'm afraid. We do. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Grateful for you, and we'll talk to you in the yarn of use. Okay, thanks, Karen. We appreciate you. All right, bye bye. All right, that was fantastic. How fun was that to have Karen here from Scotland? I apologize again for the sound. Um, I've actually got my earplugs, my not my earplugs, my headphones in to try to make hopefully my sound a little better, but it's a little crackly. I'm going to do a better job of that in the future. My apologies, um, but. You were able to meet Karen. She's wonderful. I've been able to interact with her a lot lately because, as you know, Olive and To You Studios has great, will be having great representation in the In Tandem magazine coming in the spring, as well as the sock issue. So I'll keep you updated about when that sock issue is available. And of course, we'll have it here at Olive and To You Studios. Okay, onward and upward. I'm going to start with two of our giveaways. I'm going to go ahead and do two of them right now. So um, excited about that because we have a total of three giveaways. First, I'm going to show you what the prizes are. And I'm just going to show you in no particular order. And I'm not telling you who's getting what. Because number one, I like it to be a surprise. And number two, if I'm really honest, because then I'd have to write down who gets what because I want it to be consistent. And I didn't do that. So you'll get one of these if you're a prize winner. So we have Bamboozled, which is a sock set with two minis, which is beautiful. It's actually a DK sock set, which is lovely. Put this over here. These are all DK sock sets. We've got In the Groove, another beautiful DK sock set going on. And then we have one of my, I love them all, but this is my probably my absolute favorite. This is the Sitting Shiva with Clarity sock set. They're all DK sock sets. Those will be going to our prize winners today, which is pretty appropriate because um, they are, you know, we've got two prizes for Socktober and then we have one for um, hashtag Olive and To You Projects. And as it happens, um, I think they all might be sock knitters of an ilk. So that's pretty cool. So prize number one is for Socktober and it is going to the dun -dun. Tracy Ann, Tracy Ann Disney Girl, I think is her name on Instagram. I could have gotten that wrong. Um, but congratulations, Tracy Ann. You'll get one of those sock sets. And I know you like to knit all the socks. And Tracy Ann is involved in, I think, a challenge where she's knitting every single day. And then she posts everything that she is knitting on her Instagram channel. All right. Number two, Socktober giveaway is somebody that I don't know how many socks she's knit, but I've been very impressed with the socks she's knit. And she had a little wobble, I know, on the last socks, but she did great. Um, she was a little concerned about the yardage, but it all worked out. And that is Paulette Radigan. So congratulations to Paulette. Very excited for you as well. You too will be getting a new sock set. So that is a lot of fun. So I'll get those shipped out early this week. And so you'll hopefully have those very, very quickly. Because if you're a sock knitter, you like to knit all the socks. And now you'll have yet another sock set to do it with. So thank you to everybody who participated in Socktober. It's so much fun to see all the socks. I have to admit, I didn't get any on the needles this year. But I did a little bit of cranking. Although I'm not yet skilled enough to do a whole pair of socks on my circular sock machine. But I'm getting there. And I will definitely get there. But I told somebody yesterday, I've got to get some socks on the needles. I have knit socks, only a few pairs in the past. 
but I'm really anxious to get some socks um, back on the needles to do some hand socks as well. And while we're on that subject, I mentioned this. So if you haven't joined the Yarny Use on Facebook, I really encourage you to do it. The link will be in the show notes below, below once this video is posted. The Yarny Use, it's really interactive. It's a dynamic community. But the cool thing is sometimes they get special features, which are specially curated um, sets put together, usually for a special price, which is really nice. And plus, I often go live in the Yarn and Use with things that have hit the shop maybe since the last podcast, and I want to get it out there before the next podcast, and I like to give the Yarn and Use a sneak peek. So I've done some lives this past week, one of which was yesterday, um, and I, I told them something that I've been hinting at, and I'll go ahead and tell you all this as well. We are definitely planning a circular sock machine event here in January at Needleworks. It'll be a mini crank in, but we're going to do some other socks as well. So you don't have to have a circular sock machine in order to participate. More details will be coming about that and we'll get the date out to you as soon as it is. Welcome, Samantha. We're happy that you're here with our channel. We welcome you to the channel. Welcome, Sierra um, Stitch Sanctuary. We're happy to be here. It is 10.02 a.m. here in Winter Park, Florida. So, those are two of the prizes, but we've got more prizes to get to. But first of all, I want to go through some things in the shop because we've had some orders this morning. I want to make sure that everybody knows what's in the shop and available because some of this is really special and it's running out because you all know we don't run a bunch of sales, but we've got some sales going on right now. So Fitzgerald is a base that we are actually phasing out of the shop. It is Merino, Cashmere, Nylon, High Twist, and it is a 100 gram hank. Now, I know some of you, when you heard that we were phasing out Fitzgerald, you kind of freaked out a little bit on me. I love that fiber. What? That's great stitch definition. It is. It's all those things. But the good news is we're not going to leave you high and dry because our beast yarn is the same exact fiber as Fitzgerald. It is just in a more generous 600 yard, 150 gram hank. Same exact yarn same exact fiber content, same exact twist. And it's actually more economical than buying Fitzgerald. So you're getting a little, um, a little, what am I trying to say? A little relief for your wallet by purchasing the beast instead of Fitz. And if you end up with a little bit of extra yarn, then I mean, who doesn't like some extra yarn? So that's a good thing. But the good news is the what's remaining of Fitzgerald, it's a minimal amount, but it's on sale right now. And so I don't think I put it in the newsletter. You just want to go to the website, www.oliven2u.com. The link will be in your show notes and search Fitzgerald or look up at the top for the bases. Click there and it'll take you to the bases that are remaining. But once that's gone, it's gone because we've got to make room for a whole bunch more new yarn. And I'm excited about that. So a couple other things. We have three new to us bases that are just transient bases. They're not bases that we normally carry, but they're in the shop for the moment with some special colorways. And those have been going like wildfire. That link is in your newsletter this morning. And I want to talk about those. There are three of them. So Super Sporty is a 100% Superwash Merino sport base. It is a different yarn than our Angelo. So it's slightly different. This is the colorway, Love at First Sight. I can't tell you immediately how many of these are left because they've been going out of the shop, all these new ones, because once they're gone, they're gone. They just hit the shop. So super sporty. There were colorways in that. And I believe this was super sporty as well. Yep. This was calling fall with beautiful greens and browns on super sporty. Then we have um, sock yarn to die for, which is very much like Twain. It's the same content as Twain, but it is a different yarn. The twist is different. All of that is different. This colorway is Take a Spin. It's really beautiful. Lots of variegated colors. This may turn out, if you do a like a small circular project, you might get kind of a pseudo stripey effect with this. So it's a lot of fun to experiment to see how it will knit up. And then we've got some other colorways in that base as well. And then we have the Razzle Dazzle. Now the Razzle Dazzle yarn is actually a fingering weight yarn and it has Merino, 
nylon and bronze Stellina. Now, usually when we do Stellina here in the shop, it's silver Stellina, but this is a really subtle bronze Stellina. This colorway I'm going to show you is Fiber Friends. I'm going to see if the camera can, eh, it's not really picking up the Stellina, but it's there and up. Oh, you got a little glimmer of it there. And as I mentioned, it's really subtle. This would be great for socks. You're not going to find a problem from the Stellina. This has got great stitch definition as well. If you can see that twist on camera, this is called Fiber Friends. And there are multiple colorways. Again, I'm going to go roll through some of these colorways. This is the Super Sporty. This is Community. It's a very subtle yarn with some pots of color. We've got Speaking with Jane on the Razzle Dazzle, which I spoke about in the yarn I use is kind of a, a Scottish sort of homage colorway. Um, Hubie Halloween, I did not grab that one, but Hubie Halloween is really beautiful as well. I think it might be behind me. Let's see, can I grab it? Where's Hubie Halloween? Oh, I can't grab it. Anyway, it's a gorgeous colorway. This one is um, In Your Dreams Francine, which is a redo of one of our recent hurricane colorways. Anyway, and there's tons of them. Bon Anniversaire is here. Beautiful, beautiful colorway. This was the special colorway for She Sells Yarn for their anniversary. So those are going really quickly. So I recommend if you like those, you want to go ahead and snag those. Now we always recommend you have two devices going on during the morning podcast, because if you don't act fast, often you can miss out and nobody likes that. That's no fun. Okay. Couple other things I want to mention. I think you guys are loving. I thought I had all three colors here. I do. Some of you are really loving the new flax and twine linen. Beautiful colors. We talked a little bit about linen last week. So if you're unfamiliar with knitting with linen, I recommend that you look at the podcast from last week. We talked about um, some of the characteristics of it, how you want to manage it in your stitching. There's just some, it's very different than wool. It creates a beautiful fabric that is cool and crisp on the skin, but it's good to be informed and educated before you start stitching with it. So we've got some beautiful colors. Oh, I didn't bring the blush color. The blush is probably my favorite. Fawn, um, I think this is stone, I want to say. Let me see here. Why can't I see the, okay, right. I can't see the colorway immediately. And then this is ivory, but you'll be able to see them on the website. So all of that is super good. Okay, I know several of you are doing the Go Go Dynamo pattern from Stephen West, and I know you're loving it. I know Liz is doing it. I think a couple of you additionally are doing it. Everybody loves a good Stephen West pattern. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think the Go Go Dynamo pattern is a mystery knit along. Is that right? But then I thought I saw a picture of the whole pattern the other day. So, Liz, if you want to clue me in, that would be um, wonderful. <laughs> I want to make sure and get my facts straight. But I'm saying all that to say, A, it's a, it looks like a really fun pattern. I think it has some brioche in it. And B, he is the special guest tomorrow on the Fiber Side Chats. I put it up in the Yarn I Use, and I think I put it on our Facebook page. The, final, the um, Fiber Side Chats are wonderful. Basically, it is run by Longmont Yarn Shop out in Colorado. It started during the pandemic so that knitters could still have access to really good information, some education, and it's just continued. It's grown all the time. They bring in wonderful guests. Um, we've had Isabel Kramer. We had Don Barker. We've had several other people on the Fiberside Chats, and tomorrow is Stephen West, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So it's super simple to register. You just go to the website. The link is in your newsletter. It's also in the Yarn of Use, and I think it's also on our Facebook page. And um, there's a drop down, and you just click the drop down, and you choose Olive and 2U Studios as your local yarn shop and register under that, and you're good to go. It's at 1 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow, but that will be recorded. So if you're unable to make it live, they give you a chance to review the recording for a full week, which is really helpful because some of us, our schedules are crazy, right? So you don't have to miss um, Stephen West tomorrow. So I know some of the Yarn use have already commented, yep, signed up, yep, did it, uh-huh, I'm there. So make sure you've signed up as well. It's always um, fun at those fiber side chats. So, okay, it's a mystery knit along with clues receipt released every week in October. And Liz says, oh, he's also released the sock pattern for it as well. So that's really good information. 
That's awesome. So Stephen West is really, really important to keep in mind. Okay, a couple other things. So our knit or crochet a hug campaign. Again, can I just say, you guys showed up to help warm the hands and heads and bodies of the folks in Western North Carolina that were impacted by Hurricane Helene. Monica and I are just every day, we're like, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. All the beautiful things that you all have donated to, to that effort have been so, so appreciated. We shipped out a couple boxes last week, big boxes, already shipped out some boxes this week. We're getting the boxes out weekly, but I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm going to say it. We are done with that campaign for right now. We got word from our partners that they have plenty of donations at the moment. They've been able to get them to the people who need them most. But the last thing we want to do is overrun them with donations and make more work for them while they have to find some place to store them. So right now, please discontinue sending your donations in. We are very grateful for them. The people of Western North Carolina, the recipients are very grateful. And again, I expected, I I love our Yarna use and I know you all show up and I knew you would respond. I didn't expect you to respond as robustly as you did, but I was so proud and so grateful for it. But right now we're going to hold off. So anything that's already in transit, we'll make sure that they get, I'll confirm with them. We'll make sure that they get that, but please don't ship anything else for the moment. I'm going to stay in touch. And if we find out about further needs, I'll make sure to let you know and we'll start the effort again. I'll be honest, I have not yet had the chance to add everybody to the hug discount, but I'm getting on that this weekend because if you donated, you are eligible to use the hug discount, which gives you 10% off in the shop. I apologize. It's been a really crazy week, and um, but I will get those up and running. But if you want to use it immediately, like you've got stuff in your cart and you like, I need that discount. I know I deserve it. Just send me an email. I'll make sure you get it. I don't want anybody to be left out. So, so grateful for that. It, again, just totally blown away. We had so much fun going through all the donations and seeing all of the things that were donated. It was absolutely wonderful. All right, we've got another giveaway to get to, but um, again, I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna make you hold on a little bit. I wanna show you the cable locks. I know many of you were looking for the cable locks. We got them in from Twice Your Cheap in all the colors. Every package, it's seven bucks and you get two sets. So it's $3.50 a set, which is a really great deal. There, are, There's more colors. There's a couple more colors than this, I think. Um, the mediums fit up to size US 8 needles. The large fit up to US 10 and a half. And there's multiple ways to use them. If you look at the listing on the site, you'll see all of the ways to use the cable locks. And I know some of you have already ordered these. So those are definitely headed out the door. So that's a good thing. The flambe cow kits are still available. We've put together beautiful colors and you get the pattern with the kit. It makes a super quick, fast Christmas knit. So I encourage you to look at that. All right, we've got that one more, one more um, giveaway to give away. We're gonna go ahead and do that. So just as a reminder, hashtag Olive and Two U Projects, that's O-L-I-V-E, the letter N, T-W-O-E-W-E, -E, and then the word projects, hashtag all of them to you projects is how you enter this particular monthly giveaway. Basically, we ask that if you post pictures of your projects on your page or in other knitting groups or crochet groups or social groups, that you hashtag that helps us get the word out about all of them to you studios and all the great things going on here. And then we always do a prize every month, a random prize, from the folks who have done the hashtag Olive and To You giveaway. So the prize winner for this month is dun, 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 another sock knitter, Valera Pate. Congratulations, Valera. We'll get a sock set out to you as well. So three winners this week. I love giving away stuff. We kind of went and did the gift cards for a while. Now you're kind of swinging back to doing yarn. You never know what we're going to come up with. We love giving prizes away. So Valera, we're going to get your prize out to you as well. So absolutely, congratulations, Valera. Um, very excited about that. Valera is a very, another very prolific sock knitter. I should probably sit next to her and do socks sometime. <laughs> if we ever get together in real life, right, Valera, you'll, you'll sit with me. That would be fantastic. I know we've got great sock knitters locally. Mary Nielsen's a sock knitter and others. So um, I just need to 
get my socks going on again. Definitely. All right. So Nakarni Swimo is the big news this week. The best yarn you can't get yet, but the good news is you'll soon be able to get it. Our following retreat, we're leaving for that this Thursday. Jim and I are leaving, and then we'll be back the following week. But Monica will be here in the shop. She'll be able to take care of all your needs while we're away. And of course, I'm always available by email, text message for some of you, and always happy to help. So if you didn't know it, customer service is our number one priority here at Olive and You Studios. Sorry, I have to take every opportunity to show this gorgeous yarn. Um, but customer service is our number one priority. I hope our yarn and use feel like we do a good job with it. We try to get things shipped quickly and we take care of any issues. The big line that I'm famous for is, yep, I'm over 55. I'll make mistakes, but I'll always work to make it right. And um, I hope our yarn and use will testify to that. So we're very happy to have the new folks here. We're Olive and You Studios, and we're here every single Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. I usually talk for about an hour, not quite 45 minutes to an hour, but I can get long-winded occasionally. If you haven't already done so, we invite you to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to click the bell. That way you get notifications about when we go live. Um, we've got our 12 Days of Christmas and 8 Nights of Hanukkah um, calendars going out the first part of December, and I'll be doing the live openings for those. Um, every day. So if you click the bell, you'll get the notification so you can see what that looks like. Do keep posting in the Yarn of Years all about Nakarni Suimo. That's where we really get a chance to interact. So grateful for all of you for being here this morning, for your support. Absolutely means the world to me. I couldn't do what I do without this community. And I'm so grateful for all of you. If you have any questions, do let us know. Shoot, shoot us an email at info at oliveintoyou.com. Go to our Facebook page. You can instant message there as well. And please know how much we appreciated you. All right, everybody. Have a great week. And I'll see you in the Yarn of Use. Bye-bye.